What's going on guys? Kyle and Travis from One Up Adventures and we are at the beautiful Hodges Field right now. The um, most beautiful yeah. flying location I think in the whole US. It definitely is. It's just one of those places that we can't get enough of and actually oh, we're really excited to tell you guys that we're going to be training out of this field actually. What an amazing location. He keeps this place pristine. It's beautiful. It's about two hours south of Atlanta, Georgia. So for those of you in the Atlanta area or, or anywhere in Georgia, um, we're going to be doing some training courses up here at Hodges. Yep. As well as, you know, we're, we're going to be doing uh, beginner courses, but also we can do advanced courses out of this location, uh, tandem uh, certification training. Yeah. Uh, we can do all of that right out of this field. So keep that look, uh, keep that in your mind for the future. We're going to be able to do all of that right here at this field. And I would say within the U.S., this is probably one of the most highly regarded areas to come fly. We just finished a tandem course this morning. Yep. Our so, first student. Our, for, yeah, our, our, for, our first tandem student. Our first tandem um, student. You know, and, and we've got to do that before, but you know, as far as students that we've trained, hundreds. Yeah, you know. oh yeah, hundreds. Um, actually, let's talk about the tandem course. So how, yeah. who are we doing that through? Because I think there's been a lot of questions about, is this USPPA, is this ASC, is this official, FAA, is it legal? et cetera. You know, so. so yeah, we, we did that through uh, ASC, which is Aerosports Connections. And being able to do that, it's still, uh, it's regulated through the FAA and it is a FAA rating that you are getting. Right, so Aerosports Connection is one organization in addition to the USPPA that gets the exemption 9785 from the FAA. And just like USPPA, it gets renewed every two years. So under ASC's authority, it's just a different organization. They've got advanced flight instructors, basic flight instructors, ASC pilots, and pre-solo pilots. Yep. So through their program, you can still get your tandem exemption. And that's something that we're really excited to offer is that that tandem, as well as the, you know, obviously the advanced courses and the, the beginner courses, but with the tandem that we did here, all the room that we have to do it, there's no obstructions, there's nothing like that. And every time we come here, the weather seems to be perfect. I don't know why, yeah, but no, hopefully, awesome. hopefully we'd get a knock on some wood somewhere. Right, but. and let's just, on the tandem course, it's more than just, it's more than just the exemption. I want you guys to know that. <laughs> um, part of the training is also, you, you get a basic flight instructor qualification through yep. ASC. So we go into, uh, you know, it's a review of all the, the basics, all the advanced material, a ground school review, and then there's a whole fundamental, fundamentals of instruction course that goes yeah. into that as well, which is a lot of psychology and theory of instruction and lesson planning. Yep. So, so it's, a, it's a lot to it. Um, there's it, no pencil whipping it whatsoever. No, no. We're, we do it 100%. Um, from start to finish, uh, it, you know, and obviously we have we have certain requirements that you have to meet in terms of being a foot launch pilot. Uh, if you've never flown a trike, um, we'll do some of that transition, but you need to have a very good amount of time and the requirements in order to even take the course because we want you to be 100% capable already on your own. And the first guy we trained, George Hollingsworth, it was amazing. Was amazing. Yeah. I mean, he was he was our student two years ago that we got to a PBG two rating, and this morning he took me on a tandem, and I never. Thought I would see that where I had a student who I trained from not knowing how to do it. To, now you're sitting in the front seat. Now I'm sitting in the front seat yeah. and I have no control over anything. Um, but it was a really cool thing to be able to do that and share that. And now um, j just today he's already gotten people say, hey, I want to ride, I want to ride. Yeah. So, an instructional. Uh, an instructional ride. ride, yes, very important. <laughs> but well, it is a, it's an amazing way to introduce people to the sport. You know, we get um, calls and people want to get that tandem. They want to see what it feels like. They want to experience it. So what a fantastic introduction. Yeah. I love doing tandems, Kyle. I know you do too. Yeah, they're, because, they're awesome. You know, a lot of times you do them and your, your passenger may be a little bit quiet. We're always using two-way intercom when yep. we talk. But, um, and you know, we're talking to them throughout the entire flight, keeping them safe and comfortable. But when we land and you see that huge smile and usually that woohoo. You yeah, know, you get, you get uh, that, or you get that on the launch because they've never yeah. been in the air before. But um, being able to offer this course, especially at locations such as this, is something that we're very grateful to be able to do. Um, and to have all of the equipment, we have all brand new state-of-the-art equipment, everything that we need to do this course. And obviously we've already done it. Um, and actually we did you know, some stuff like this before, um, right. before we started doing this. But um, it's, we're really excited to, to get rolling and to be able to offer these tandem courses to, to those pilots that qualify. Yeah, I mean, just for this course, we came up here with, we came up with a backup motor for, exactly. Know, so it's new in box, just in case the worst case was to happen with our during our tandem course, we've got a brand new in box backup motor. Yep. So we have everything that we need, and uh, so in addition to tandem, we're doing uh, we're doing beginner training. Yep. Um, which includes uh, includes everything, everything that you guys have known us for doing. We've got the simulator, we've got the um, tow machine. 
Yeah. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a very in-depth syllabus from start to finish, uh, on average about 10 days. Yeah, it's, it's going to be an average of about 10 days for that beginner course. Um, and and one, one thing that's great is if we have this course here at Hodges and you're not able to make it, every single thing we have is portable. We have our entire rig. We could drive to Washington State if you have mm -hmm. people there and they want to go and they want to train but they can't leave, we can come all the way there with our setup that we have. Yeah, and for you guys, um, you'll see on our website there is a there is a fee associated with travel cost, a per yeah. mile fee to get out to you and back, but it but it's split amongst the students. And if you do the math on your cost to travel to us, hotels with the hotels and food and airfare and it's everything cheaper. else, it's definitely cheaper <laughs> for you, and you get to stay at home. Exactly, um, and, and that way, if you've got a uh, we've got a bad weather day, and we, we've gotten through the ground school, and we can't do anything practical, you know, you can be with your family or doing what you need to do at work. Yeah. So we're really excited for this to be able to offer all of these courses. Uh, I am going to touch on the advanced training a yeah, little bit. Yeah, talk about that. With the advanced training, you know, everyone says, is it an SIV course? No, it is not an SIV course. We're not going to be going up there and teaching how to do a stall. Maybe one day? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. When we have maybe all one the day. proper equipment. Yeah, all that. the proper equipment. Um, and honestly, uh, more experience in, in doing it. You know, yeah. we, we've done some of that and uh, do a lot of acro, but it's still good to have even more experience. More can't hurt. But with our advanced training, we're going to be tailoring it towards each individual person. So mm -hmm. we get one guy who comes in and says, I, I really want to work on, I've never water foot dragged. Well, luckily Hodges has a beautiful pond right yeah. there yeah. that we can teach you how to do that in, or just standard foot dragging or simple things like how to do uh, proper wing overs. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever the case is, we can tailor it towards that. Um, I know a lot of people like to do, um, you know, how do you take off crosswind? Right. That's something that we, is easily teachable um, and is something that we're able to do. So we yeah. can tailor it towards any student. In addition, we're also looking to make this fun. We're, we're taking the, uh, the FAI competition yeah. book and they have some really neat tasks in there. And these aren't, these aren't, this is not a slalom, a dangerous yeah. slalom course. The FAI comps are not like that, but they have some really fun things that make you a better pilot and they're fun to do. So you come to us for an advanced course with, you know, three other students. Our max class size is always going to be four, four. Yep. two to never, four people. Never anymore. And uh, so you get to do fun things like you're going to, you're, we're going to pick up the beach bowling. balls and, yeah. and, and, and put them and then you got to drop them into uh, into a bucket or, or a drum. Yep. Um, you get to you shut down at 500 feet and we'll have bo uh, plastic bowling pins laid out, of course, yeah. or foam. And we see how many you can mow down. It'll be a, a little fun competition between your classmates. So it's going to be a, a navigation, a short cross country, 10 miles where yeah. you'll have checkpoints you have to hit, you have to plan. Uh, it's all going to be about fuel efficiency and navigation. You don't get to use your phone. Nope. Um, and to hit those checkpoints and see who can come back with, and, and do the best with fuel efficiency, time, and uh, actually hitting those checkpoints. Yeah, so, and yeah, aside from that, you know, the cross country and being able to, some, everyone loves, you know, almost everyone loves to do their cross countries. Yeah. You know, they like to go 20, 30, 40, 50 miles. Mm -hmm. And that's something we can teach you how to plan and how to do it properly. Yeah. Are you sweating through your shirt yet? Oh yeah. Yeah, we gotta finish this so we can go fly. Yeah. What's up, man? What's up? Oh, I'm sweating my. Oh my god. Like, is my shirt wet on the back? Like, dude, your shirt is soaked.